Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to James Robert episode 2. In episode 1 he was talking to Celia, in episode 2 he's talking to Denise. As I was making episode 1 his fake account on Facebook got deleted so sadly I had to retrieve his conversation with Denise from settings and so if you've watched a few of my videos you'll understand that the conversation on this one is upside down. Hello Denise. Good evening, he said. How are you? This was at the beginning of July and as with Celia, he had actually contacted Denise back in April and they'd exchanged a few messages and, and for some reason it had gone nowhere. Hello again, said Denise. I'm sorry, I must have overlooked your message back in April. I live in Guildford. It's okay, he said. I understand. Can we be friends? I really like your page. That's why I requested you. Do you have family over there? I have two children and four grandchildren, said Denise. Wow, that's great. I have one daughter. I'm from Ireland originally, but live in Sacramento, California. Are you always here on Facebook? What do you mean? asked Denise. How can you always be on Facebook? Where are you from in Ireland? I'm from Dublin, Ireland. Do you like us to be friends? he asked. Always a lonely man. Ha ha. Oh dear, said Denise. I'm not sure I want to be friends with a man who feels sorry for himself and likes to moan to people they don't even know. Why did you move from Dublin to Sacramento? Oh, have moved in while I was a child, he said. What do you mean, feel sorry for myself? Always a lonely man, quoted Denise, feeling sorry for yourself. Moved into what as a child? Oh, sorry about that, ha ha, he said. We moved into the state and I'm still a child. Oh, OK, said Denise. Why did your parents move? Oh, we moved when I was ten too many years ago, he said. What do you do? Still married? No, said Denise. I asked why, not when. What does what do you do still married mean? Hey, I'm sorry, he said. As you can know, I was still a child then. Are you still there? Tell me about yourself. How's the weather over there today? Yes, said Denise. But why did your parents move to the US? You're an adult now. You must know why they moved. It's hot and sunny. When we moved, because there is much life in the USA. And Mai has always told me in my childhood that USA is his favourite place to live. He moved first and I and Mum joined him. They're both late, 30 years ago. OK, said Denise. But they didn't teach you to write a proper sentence that actually makes sense. That's a shame. Guess the US education system let you down. Were you a school refuser? That's funny. Please, sorry if my English are wrong. Ha ha, he said. It isn't funny, said Denise. How old are you? Sixty-six. And you? I'm seventy-six, said Denise. You're sixty-six and you think not being able to write a proper sentence is funny. I guess you have a job where writing doesn't matter. Are you retired? I retired ten years ago. No, still working, he said. What'd you do? asked Denise. A petroleum engineer. He said, a petroleum engineer that can't write a proper sentence. Pull the other leg, said Denise. What do you really do? Hey, just told you. That's what I do. OK. Yes, you did just tell me that's what you do. OK, said Denise. But it's obviously a lie. If you can't even write a proper sentence, you clearly aren't a petroleum engineer. So tell me what you really do. Are you the cleaner or the cook? Hey, do not mind my words. I'm who I am, OK, he said. I don't mind your words, said Denise. I just wish some of them were truthful. So who are you really? And don't try to pretend you're an engineer when you can't even type a proper sentence. I don't like men that lie. It isn't clever, it's just stupid. Hey, I'm honest with you, truly, OK? I'm a petroleum engineer. I serve here in Ireland. You know, we had that in the video with Celia. He obviously tries pulling the military scam as well. Oh, uh, well, if you think continuing to lie is being honest, that's OK, said Denise. You're back in Ireland now, are you? You told me you left there as a child. Hey, I'm a traveller. Ireland is my country. I'm only here for a contract that lasts six months. I'm returning back to the state in two months' time. What do you mean But I'm a traveller? Ireland is my country. You already told me you've lived in Sacramento since you were ten. So at least try and type something that makes sense. If you want to carry on pretending you're an engineer... I meant my home country. You don't understand me. 
I don't understand you, because nothing you type makes sense. Try typing something sensible. I dare you, said Denise. Wow, that's pretty hash, he said. Don't you think you're being too hash on me? OK, get that. So what is your profession before retiring? No, I don't think I'm being too hash, whatever that means, said Denise. There's a hash key on my keyboard. I was an accountant. I ran my own small business with my late husband. OK, that's nice. Can I be friends with you? asked amateur gentleman. We can try, said Denise. I might write a book of stories, or even a video. That would be fun, wouldn't it? My grandson could upload it to YouTube for me. Hi, good morning. How are you doing this morning, he asked. I will get to view your storybook on my Facebook page. Oh, no, you won't, mate. It's been deleted. What are you doing today? It's Sunday. Happy Sunday to you. I hope you're having a good and wonderful morning. That'll be fun, won't it? said Denise. A video of all the stories you've told me. I can't wait to hear more. What else do you want to tell me? It's hot here today, so I'm staying indoors. Ha ha, he said. You mean you're making a storybook of what we talk about? Wow! You're kidding me, right? Sounds funny. Denise just sent a laughing emoji. Can we chat on Hangouts or Google Chat, he asked. I'm glad at least you understand what I'm writing. If you want to, said Denise, giving him her email address. I'm glad you're at least writing something understandable. Thank you, he said. I will add you up right away. And so, of course, they moved to Hangouts. And over on Hangouts, the fun began. Hi, Denise. You got this email, he said. Glad you got this right. How are you today? I'm been meaning to ask you. Have you served in the military before? Because you're hash somehow. Ha uh ha. -huh. No, I haven't served in the military, said Denise. And you keep talking about hash. I like hash browns for lunch sometimes. And there's a hash key on my keyboard. Not sure what that has to do with the military. All right, Denise. You didn't tell me where you're from. Yes, I did. I told you I live in Guildford, said Denise. Copying and pasting the bit where she said, I live in Guildford. Have you served in the military? Oh, that's right. I must have forgot, he said. What are you doing today? Same as when you asked me on Facebook, said Denise. Have you served in the military? Of course not, I have not. Well, of course not. How would I know, said Denise. Because I just told you I'm not a military personnel, he said. Tell me about your husband. Why, of course not, she said. You didn't tell me before. My husband passed away five years ago. Tell me about your wife. My wife passed away seven years ago, he said. I have one child. Her name is Cindy. What about you? Sorry for your loss. I have two children and four grandchildren, said Denise. Wow! That's nice. I'm not a grandpa yet. I'm sure you will be one day, said Denise. Yeah, sure, thank you. You look beautiful and attractive. How long have you been on Hangouts? Guess you have a lot of friends. My grandson set up my iPad at the beginning of last year, said Denise. Of course I have a lot of friends. I've lived in Guildford all my life. Oh, OK, that's cool. You have Facebook friends on here too? Of course I do. Do you have Facebook friends on here too? Here, being Hangouts? No, I got on this app so I can speak with my daughter always. Don't have friends. Ha uh ha. -huh. What does your daughter do? Asked Denise. My son Ian is an architect and my daughter Elizabeth is a medical secretary. Wow! That's great. My daughter is still schooling. She's in boarding school in the UK. OK. Where in the UK? Asked Denise. England. London. I do visit whenever I'm in the state. Where in London? Asked Denise. Why did you visit her in England when you're in the state? Well, I'm traveller. I do go to London. I've been there on vacation so many times. That doesn't explain why you visit her whenever I'm in the state. What did that mean? I don't understand, he said. I do visit her any time I'm in California. I really don't understand. Why do you visit her when you're in California? You just told me she's in London. I just told you I do visit my daughter in the UK. Anything wrong with that? Yes, you did tell me your daughter's in the UK. Why do you visit her when you're in California? Hey, she's all I have. I do visit when she needed to see me or feel my presence. You aren't going to visit her while you're in Ireland, then. You're going to wait till you get back to California. Exactly what I meant. Right now I'm at work, he said. 
So I can't leave until I go back to California. You didn't think to go and see her on your way to Ireland or before you go back to California. Before I can go see her again should be when I'm back home, he said. So you fly all the way to California and then fly all the way back to London. Do you know where California is? Do you know where Ireland is? And do you know where London is? What do you mean? asked our geographically challenged scammer, who clearly didn't understand how to use Google Maps. Obviously the answer is no, said Denise. I have no idea what I'm talking about. What do I mean? I mean, one, do you know where California is? Two, do you know where Ireland is? Three, do you know where London is? Hint, Google Maps will help you. I still don't understand what you're saying, he said. If I knew where California is, what's that? So disease typed it one word at a time. Do you know where California is? Hopefully now I've typed it one word at a time. You'll understand, she said. I know where it is, he said. OK, said Denise. How far would you say it is from Ireland? That should be ten hours or so. Why do you ask, he replied. OK, excellent, said Denise. How far would you say Ireland is from London? One house. Or still, ask again, why so you ask? One house, said Denise. I'll take that to mean one hour. But you still think it's better to fly all the way back to California and then all the way to London to visit your daughter rather than just going to see her when you've time off from the rig. It's a choice and a vacation. Nothing more, he said. So you choose not to visit her while you're close to her and only to visit her when you're on a vacation. What a kind, caring father you are. Not. I really do not understand you said our increasingly geographically challenged scammer. You mean I'm not a caring father? Is that what you mean? Any time I'm off the ship. He's on a ship now, not a rig. We board the company flight back to the state. I do go visit any time I want. Are you still there? You don't understand that choosing not to visit your own daughter when you're only an hour away isn't what a caring father would do. You are kidding me, right? That doesn't count. If I'm a caring father or not, you barely know me, Denise. They very much does, said Denise. I think I know you very well. You should be visiting her every time you have a free weekend. Imagine how she feels, knowing that her own father is close to her in Ireland and can't be bothered to go and visit her. Just prefers sightseeing with his mates. That's horrible. Well, he said, I've been here for just four months. I've never thought of this. have an idea now, but it's hard for me to leave when works are still going on. Only on emergency. You have never thought of going to see your own daughter on your days off, said Denise. That just proves what I said about you not even caring. It's OK, Denise. Get you. It's OK, he said. Finally, said Denise. How old is your daughter? She's just 16 years old, he said. Was your wife the same age as you or older? Asked Denise, hoping that she might catch him out. I'm older. And who was your husband older than you, he said. Tell me more. Do you live alone? Yes. My Albert was two years older than me, said Denise. That's nice. Do you live alone? I live with the bouncer from a local nightclub, said Denise. He rents my spare room. He's six foot six inches tall and weight trains every morning. Wow! Great. Have you dated online before? Pardon me for asking. Before what? asked Denise. Why would I want to date online? Have you been into a relationship after the death of your husband, he asked. Have you dated any man? That's none of your business, said Denise. It's OK, Denise. We're just getting to know each other. I know you very well already, thanks, said Denise. But I'm getting lots of good stories for that video, aren't I? Really? How do you know me? He asked. In case it's escaped your notice, I've been talking to you here and on Facebook for the last few days. Did you forget? Not at all. I didn't, he said. Oh, good. You had me worried there. I thought you were suffering from memory loss. Not at all. Tell me, what so you do for fun? Talk to people like you. That's good entertainment. Make little videos. Yogic chair dancing and underwater oil painting. What do you do for fun? Wow! So talking to me is fun? Ha ha, he asked. Oh yes, you're good entertainment value, said Denise. Tell me about your oil rig. Well, I'm in the drilling department. Here, there are many crew members with each department. I'm the head of my department. Where are you in Ireland? asked Denise. I'm in the North Sea, he said. 
In the North Sea, said Denise. I thought you said you were in Ireland. Do explain. I'm all ears. North Sea, Ireland, he said. Meaning, replied Denise, Ireland floated off into the North Sea. Hey, I just told you, I'm in the North Sea of Ireland. What do you not understand there? You sound like you're not interested in talking to me. Just don't know. You do know where the North Sea is, she asked, and you do know where Ireland is. Copying and pasting the bit where he said, I'm in the North Sea. What do you mean? he asked. Oh no, not again, said Denise. You're so repetitive. Do you know where the North Sea is? I just told you, I'm in the North Sea of Ireland, and you're asking me if I knew where it is. So you aren't in the North Sea, said Denise. Yes, I am, he said. OK, do you know where the North Sea is? Please don't make me ask again. Yes, I know, he said. Awesome, said Denise. Do you know where Ireland is? Why do you ask, he asked. Do you know where Ireland is? Sure, he said. OK, said Denise. So, A, are you in Ireland? Or B, are you in the North Sea? Or C, did Ireland float off into the North Sea? Never mind, he dried. I do mind, said Denise. Which is it? I'm in the North Sea of Ireland. So she copied and pasted her questions again. Please answer A, B or C, since she claimed to know where the North Sea is and claimed to know where Ireland is. Obviously you don't know, but your stories are such fun. You seem not to like me sure of that, he said. You know what? Never mind. I love your stories, said Denise, but it's obvious they're just stories. Because it's obvious you have no idea where the North Sea is. I know. Find a map of the North Sea and put a cross on it where you think Ireland is. Then send it to me here. That should be great fun. Have a great day, he said. It won't be nearly such fun without that map, replied Denise. You're talking to me because you want fun, he said. Your stories are very entertaining, said Denise. I told you that when we were talking on Facebook. And it would be awesome to see where in the North Sea you think Ireland is. You could just put an X on a map and send it to me. You don't want to be serious with me, do you? He replied. I do, she said, but it's hard to get you to be serious with me. Go on, I dare you. Send me a map of the North Sea with Ireland marked on it. Then I'll know you're serious. How can I have that? He said. I'm sure you could Google map of the North Sea, said Denise. Take a screenshot, mark an X on it where Ireland is, and then send it to me here. I know, I'll start you off. Here's a map of the North Sea. If you're not looking at the screen, ladies and gentlemen, take a quick look. You can mark the location of Ireland on that map for me. Light, having seen the map, finally dawned. Did I say North Sea? Wow! I meant to say the South Sea. The South Sea, said Denise. Never heard of it. Did you just make it up? I've heard of the South China Sea and the South Atlantic. I'm in south coast of Ireland. Didn't make it up. Stop all this. So you aren't in the South Sea. It's you that needs to stop. Stop making up silly stories. You seems like you don't like my friendship, he said. I don't like your silly stories, said Denise. That's not true. I love your silly stories. But it isn't the way a friend would behave, is it? A friend wouldn't keep making up increasingly silly stories. They'd just give an honest answer. I'm sorry for that. Too many questions keep coming. I'm in the south coast of Ireland, he said. OK, said Denise. So you very definitely aren't in the South Sea. How far are you from Ireland? Well, it's about 12 miles away. Not far, said Denise. Where's the nearest place? Not too far away, he said. Yeah, we've already agreed it's 12 miles away, said Denise. What is the nearest place called? In Ireland, on the shore, 12 miles from where you are. Wouldn't know about that, he said. Can we talk about you now? You wouldn't know about that, even though you go sightseeing on shore on your days off. I know. Try again. Where do you go sightseeing on your days off? I don't go on sightseeing. Always in my room on my day off. I think it was Celia he'd been talking to about sightseeing. OK, said Denise, but you're only 12 miles from shore. You must know where your nearest place on land is. You can use the sat-nav on your phone. That'll tell you where you are. OK. We'll do that later today, he said. We've been talking about me. Now, it's about you. You're seriously telling me you've been on the rig for four months. And you don't know where you are. Pull the other leg. Oh, 
Can I tell you equally ridiculous stories? I do hope I can. Let's see. Tell me, he said. So you plan to remarry again? Not an idiot like you, no. I would have to be a proper gentleman who can have a proper intellectual, interesting conversation who answers a question first time with a real proper answer, not a fantasist and storyteller. Wow, he said. You're something else. Yes, said Denise, a real person who knows where they live, what they do and who their family are. But don't let that spoil a good story. Obviously, Denise has never let it spoil a good story. Go away, he said. You just called me an idiot. Why, said Denise, have you run out of stories? I know, you can tell me which school your daughter goes to. It seems that our man had run out of stories because, as with Celia, he disappeared. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Please share it. Please comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and I'll see you again in another video.